Did you know you can now create immersive 360 videos for VR headsets in Insta360 Studio? It's very basic, but it's the best free way to do it. So let me show you how it's done. To film these videos, I use the Best360 monopod. The 500 gram counterweight keeps the monopod upright in windy weather, and the invisible selfie stick and the long and thin tripod legs keeps the footprint minimal in the final 360 footage. The first thing I'm going to do is import footage into Insta360 Studio. So to do this, locate your footage, select the footage you would like to use, and drag and drop this footage into Insta360 Studio. The next step is to trim, edit and color correct each shot in the media tab. Then when this is done, I will put together all the shots into a timeline in the project tab. So starting with shot number one, I will move forward in the timeline where I want this shot to begin. And I want it to begin once I am hiding. So about here. So I will click mark as trim start and this is where the shot will begin. I will move forward 15 seconds in the timeline. So I have enough time for my viewers to look around this 360 shot and I will mark this as the trim end. So this is where the shot ends. So now I have a 15 second clip. Now I can edit the shot. So if there are any stitching issues, then I can click through these stitching options and pick the best one. And finally, I can color grade the shot. So in this example, I will lift the shadows and I will add color. So now that shot number one is ready, I will move on to shot number two. I will repeat the same process so I will move forward in the timeline when I hide from the shot. Mark as trim start. And I will make this a 15 second shot. Mark this as trim end. So now I have a 15 second shot. Now I'll adjust the color grade. So I'll go to the media processing tab. I will lift the shadows and increase the saturation. Next, I will move on to shot number three. So first I will trim the shot where I would like it to start over here. Create a 15 second shot. Color grade the shot. And I'll move on to the next shot. So I'll trim the shot. Trim it to 15 seconds. Add a color grade. And now all my shots are edited. The next step is to put the shots together in the project tab. So to do this, click project, new project, name your project. I will call it Bali 360 video. Choose where to save the project. Choose the ratio two by one 360 panorama. Frame rate 30 frames per second and confirm. In the temporary media tab, these are the shots you already edited from the media tab. So all you need to do now is click the plus button to add it into the timeline. So here are all the shots in the timeline. To rearrange the order, click it and drag it to your desired position.
To preview the 360 video, click the 360 monitor button and now you can click and drag to look around the 360 video. To change the center point of a 360 shot, click on the shot, click the white marker on the shot. In the video tab, go to reorient, change the pan angle to your desired position and now this is the new center point. If you would like to, you can add music from Insta360's library but you're not able to add your own music yet. There is an option to add text but unfortunately Insta360 does not provide text that's specific for a 360 video. If you try to add 2D text into a 360 video, it's not going to display correctly. So I would avoid using the text for now until we get 360 video specific text. For transitions, it's a similar story where we don't have 360 video specific transitions, but something like black fade can still work. So I will show you this as an example. I will drag and drop this transition in between two clips and I will change the duration of the transition to two seconds. And this is the result. And if you would like to make any further changes to your 360 shot, you can go through the tabs here. The final step is to export the 360 video. So to do this, go to export, choose a file name, Choose where to save the video to. Choose a preset. In this case, I will choose YouTube Pano. So in this preset, it's picked the resolution 8K, the frame rate 30 frames per second. I'm going to change the bit rate from 50 to 100. The encoding format should be H.265. Click export and that's it. When you upload your 8K video to YouTube, it will probably show up in 4K resolution first and then it can take up to a couple of weeks before it shows up in the full 8K resolution.